national unity and civil discourse. It always sounds good. The New Albany Lecture Series is hosted by the New Albany Center for Civil Discourse and Debate. But achieving civility and compromise is far easier said than done. More now on my conversation with political giants David Axelrod and Chris Christie. And you know, I always joke that there's a reason that Profiles in Courage was such a slim volume. It is unusual for politicians to risk their political careers to do what they think is right. Every, I think most politicians want to do what is right. Most politicians want to do good if they can. But if it's a choice between doing that and getting reelected, most will choose reelection. Who is at fault here? Who has to change? Is it the politicians? Is it the people at the top? Is it the voter? Well, I think we all, I think we all bear some culpability. If, if nothing else, what January 6th should be is a wake up call to the entire country that we really have to do some soul searching about how, how we operate in the future and how our democracy survives uh, if we continue living in these separate silos uh, in, instead of uh, listening and uh, trying to find some common understanding. I look at polls just like every other politician who's run for office. Um, but part of it on things that we think are principled, our job as leaders is to change polls, not to follow polls. And to use our abilities and our skills as orators and thinkers to be able to change people's minds. And I think we're at a time in this country right now where we need some people to do some mind changing of the voters by going out there and making the argument and taking a risk. Because otherwise, we're headed down a road that I think is very, very corrosive to our democratic system. And, you know, I don't want my generation to be the one that led us to a, the, the conclusion of this corrosive path. So, you you know, you got it. That means taking risks and a risk as a politician. You know, I will. There's as David knows, there are dozens of things that Barack Obama and I disagreed on. But what I will tell you is his whole candidacy was a risk. He took a risk. He took a chance to go out there against Hillary Clinton and be something different and speak differently. And people responded to him in a way that conventional politicians didn't think necessarily they might. You know, there are lots of examples of that over the course of our history. And what we need to do is, as political leaders, is to take some risk now. The country's worth the risk and worth the risk that our voters are going to listen. Um, and, and I think we need to do more of that. Less than a week after Rob Portman announced he is not going to be on the ballot in 2022, Democrats and Republicans who want to see their names there are starting to test the waters. We'll talk about Ohio's surprise open Senate seat with our all-star roundtable when we come back.